Once upon a time, in 1915, in Belleville, France, two little baby girls were born. Both were called Edith Gassion Piaf. One of them grew up to be the iconic performer we all admire and love. The other, whose life seemed to mirror that of the first, without the fame, is here tonight. So please, welcome with her very own show, The Other Piaf! Ah! Welcome! Welcome to my show! Welcome to my first Christmas special! Show everybody! So it's really good to be here! How happy are you to be here today? Let me give you a Thank you! Oh, the whiskey gets worse every single time. Marcel, I don't know what's going on with you. You keep changing my whiskeys around. I don't know what you're putting in there. I really don't know. Oh, it's this Lauren Hope. It's our house. I couldn't find any whiskey anywhere. Yours, terrible, terrible. Anyway, let's get on with the show. So, we've got a lot of guests here tonight. Um, but I feel that my chair should be on that side. So, somebody, can someone get up, please, and remove this thing and put my chair over there quickly. Um, you, Martin. Let's all give Martin a big round. Thank you, Martin. Thank you, Martin. That thing over there, she's so careful. Be careful, she's so temperamental. Oh, the beautiful Martin. How are yeah. you today? I'm fine, fine. You're fine, yeah. you're yes, fine. Yeah, yeah. How is it to live with that crazy woman? <laughs> she invites you to parties with there's no mince pies. <laughs> she invites you to parties with there's no mince pies. Yes, Why yes. should she do such a cruel thing to you? Look at you, it's you're so party. handsome. A Christmas party. Look at him, he only looks like my Marcel, doesn't he? Really? Except you've got the moustache, he doesn't what? have a moustache. But he has the hairy chest. Do you have the hairy chest? No. Anyway. Family show, it's a family show. <laughs> anyway, it's very good to be here with you. It's very good to be here with me, I think, as well, isn't it? This is the strangest party I've ever been to, actually. <laughs> it's not a party, this is my show, The Other PF Show. Oh. Do you know why it's called The Other PF Show? Uh, you no, don't, because no. you don't watch the shows. Because if you watch the shows, you would know yeah. that in the beginning, this is how it goes. There is a narrator, and he says, once upon a time, in 1915, two little baby girls were born. Huh? Both were called Edith Gaston Piaf. One of them went off and became the famous icon we all know and love. And the other one is here today. And here she is. We got our show. Woo! Now, you know why it's called the other Piaf show. Right, yes? Because okay, you understand okay. now? Yes, Fair yeah. enough. Well, Martin, so one of the things I need to talk to you about is, would you like to taste this and tell me what it is? Because <laughs> you're yes. very good with whiskey. <laughs> you're very good with whiskey. Well, what is it? I can't uh, put my finger on it. It could be an Ardmore, I think. Really. A what? An Ardmore. It's quite smoky. It's quite a smoky stuff. <laughs> Why are you laughing? You think it's funny? <laughs> oh, no, I don't. know. Just, this is just very strange. <laughs> but why does it taste so strange? It was smoky, so that's the smoke coming through. It's when they the smoke? Uh, yes, it's when they dry the barley. Well, you set it on fire? Yeah, when they dry the barley, they put peat on, on the fire. They put peat? Why don't they, what's wrong? Why did they put peat on the fire? What did he do? Because well. Peat burns well. <laughs> oh, peat! I mean, has anybody got like peat it, around it? you? I think you should run away very quickly. Or they're going to put you on the fire? No, no, it's, it's part yeah, it's like of the ground. It's like peat, it's in the ground, sort of like earth. Peat, it's like peat. Burns, it makes the, the, the smoke, it makes the smoky. This smoky. is getting pretty boring for me. Taste yeah, it, I'm more interested in <laughs> well, what right. Taste, 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 taste. Mm. It's good, you see? Slanche, slanche, or bon chance, oh. or whatever. Ah, anyway, we have you talking a lot about the whiskies. We film, you got filmed for this uh, movie on TV thing that Lorraine she ran, you know? Ah, right. She's always asking me to be in it, but she'd never pay me. Wow. Never pay me for nothing. Right. And she never give me any whiskey. She never give me anything, really. Okay. So. Have you heard of Mrs. Merton? <laughs> Who? <laughs> Mrs. Merton. <laughs> no, I don't know. What's he talking? Who's Mrs. Anybody here? What's he talking about? Uh, Mrs. Merton. I am the Piaf. I am the most famous Piaf. The most famous singer of all time. Yeah. Uh, yes. So what's your problem? You're on my show. You should be very grateful. Right. So do you want to tell us a little bit... Uh, about the Christmas, because I'm very interested in 
what is it about Christmas that you love? And not the, no one to talk about the presents and the money. What do you enjoy oh, about Christmas? Christmas? Been, so, so it's Midwinter Festival, we it's been celebrated for thousands of years in this part of the world, and uh, they used to hold Christmases even before uh, it was celebrated for Christianity and uh, religion. But what practices. do you enjoy about it, Martin? This you is very you boring! You get together with people, with people you've never met before, and it's a good excuse, it's a good uh, uh, icebreaker. That's it, icebreaker. An icebreaker. That's it. Bit like an you know, it's an excuse to get people together. I do and, agree and with mince, him. You like what he says? Eat turkey and mince yes. pies. Yes. Well, why don't we show him some appreciation then? Thank you very much, the <laughs> Okay, so everybody, we're going to move on to the next bit of the show. But before that, what is wrong with you? You're falling asleep. Wake up, everyone! Start shaking. Have a good shake. That's it. Shake out the day. Shake out your legs. Shake out your head, shake out your body, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. No, yeah, no, yeah. Sorry, I forgot about the arrest. Oh, shut up! You don't know what that is. That's the public rubbish society banging on my door every time I sing my own songs. They call it the PRS. I call it the rubbish society. Public rubbish society. Anyway, time to move on. I have the beautiful Barry with me today. So let's have a big hand of applause for Barry! Barry, <laughs> come on, please. Chalfon from Chili's. Yeah, Chalfon Chili's. Look at that beautiful t shirt. Chalfon, everybody. What's that? Chili's. Mm. Now, why are Chili's called? I don't understand. Chili's. To be chili. In, in England is to be very, very cold, isn't it? Explain this to me because I don't understand. Well, you are making people very hot! Yeah, oh, yeah as you the can chilies. see. The chilies! As you can see, I'm wearing shorts. At this yes. time of year, it's three degrees outside, about to rain, and very cold, but chilies keep you warm. Chilies keep you warm? Oh. You see, this is another way of thinking of it. Would you like a whiskey? I can't. You can't have whiskey, but no. you can have chilies. So you're, you're very, the chilies, they make you very hot. Hot, see my, my Marcel. Oh, what's he doing on the floor? Oh, my Marcel. Oh, don't. Oh, he's... My Marcel is very hot. He's very nice. Hot. He's very hot. Good chest there. Yes, very <laughs> hot man. Hot, hot. But you think he's hot? You think he's hot? I, I think and Barry's better looking than Marcel. Excuse me, who asked you anyway? <laughs> I may be younger. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with uh, this is uh, Lauren's husband. You think he's talking about uh, men being hot? Uh, strange. Family show. Oh. Family show. Family show. <laughs> anyway, back to the lovely Barry. So, what do you like about my show today? What do you like about being here? Why are you here? It's very cosmopolitan. I like being here. It's very cosmopolitan. Oh. Right, okay. Can you sing? I, ah! I found out something very interesting about Barry. He's not just making chilies, he's making war uh, films. Films and war films he make? Uh, no, I've done a couple of Bond films and Star Wars. Bond films! Oh my goodness! Not acting, no? Not no? Acting. I Who acting. did you meet? What actors? Uh, lots of people. I was Can in the lighting, so, was, so we just met all of the cast and crew. What about the Bonds? The best ones will say, oh, Sean Connery, oh, she no. cannot stare. Oh. Right before my time. Ah, who would it be then? Who would no. it? Not before my time. No. 1915 I was born. Well, it was one of my idols. You're more of a girl then. <laughs> no, Sean Connery, he's a beautiful man. So who is it now? The Daniel Craig? Daniel Craig's quite good. I like him. So you work with him? No, but well, he's quite nice. I like All him. All right. So who? Not him? Well, you know, he doesn't have a hairy chest. No! But he's a, he's a very no. good bond. He's a very good bond. I think he's a very good bond. A very good bond. Mm. A very good bond. A very good bond. He's a very good bond. I think so. Oh, okay, yes. Bond. That's a very big, very, very good bond. Yes. Right. I, I don't know why I have to keep saying this. He's a very good bond. <laughs> bond. It's just this feeling of like when it's people nice. bond together. A very good bond. He's a spy. That's what he is. Bond he's a spy. This bond is a spy. Who asked him? Why is he always answering for you? It's like know. a ventriloquist, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I think um, it comes out there. He has to oh. answer the questions that I ask you. Oh. Why are you not laughing? <laughs> hey, everybody, thank you very much. So, 
you you work with the films and <laughs> um, what about me can i get into the films i'm edith piaf the most famous singer and actress in the whole world do you think i can get into one of your films uh, i don't know about my film but you could get into films here yeah. in the maybe world? we should try canal plus they're very good canal plus mm -hmm. french filmmaker you want me to go and make French films? I'm ju it's just a suggestion. Why should I go and make French films when I'm living in the UK? You want to get rid of me? You don't like the French? I never said that. No, but it sounds like okay. it a bit. Mm. Okay. You, th you like the French? Mm, definitely. So you make the chilies? Yes. Do you, do you make the French food as well or only the chilies? No, we make a lot of uh, different types of food. Don't right. particularly make any French food. Okay. It's not very exciting. It's, <gasps> from my, it's a bit traditional. You don't like the French food? How dare you insult my food? Get out! I hate yes. the Good. <laughs> Goodbye. Please, someone Thank remove you. him. He insults the French. Out! Out! I, out! I, I, I can insult the French. Can you please <laughs> remove him? <laughs> <laughs> He's bigger than I am. <laughs> Goodbye. I Thank, you Goodbye. Thank you very much. Very Goodbye. <laughs> Unless you want to sing a song or something. No, I'm quite no, happy. Do you have any chilli chocolates at all? No. No chili what is wrong with this audience? <laughs> Do you, would, you like, would you like to take the share and ask the question? No, I don't get paid, so if you're looking for the money, your wife never pay me. No. Chili no. ice cream is very good. Chili ice cream? Chili ice cream. Yeah, if you chop chili, it's fine. So that's yeah. cold ice Soft, soft melt some ice cream. Ice cream. And then put, mix the chilies in, maybe with a little bit of fruit, mango or pineapple. Oh, and good. then refreeze it in a cup or a mug and then use it as a dessert. Anyway, you're taking over on my Thank show, you. can you yeah, please? That's very stop? French. Bye bye. Bye, bye. bye bye. Thank you. He doesn't want to go. Right. No. I tell you what we do. We have someone here who can make you leave very quickly. He's magic. Everybody, who do you think has come to visit us? Who would come to visit the biggest, most amazing, most famous singer in the world? All the way, all the way from La Plaine. One guess, not you. One guess. <laughs> Father Christmas. Father Christmas. What's his other name? Santa, Santa Claus. Claus. Santa Claus. Has he got another name? Saint Nicholas. Saint Nicholas. Saint Nicholas. Right, so everybody, I want you to give the biggest applause in the world for Santa Claus! Ho, ho, ho! Ho, ho, ho! And a Merry Christmas to everybody! <laughs> What's oh, sorry. wrong with you? Well, I just, when, 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 you, when, you go, when you go around people's houses at Christmas, they leave a mince pie, you see, and oh, they leave drink. But things have changed, things have changed. Because when I first started Father Christmas, they give me whiskey. <laughs> they give you whiskey? Give and whiskey. how long have you been doing <laughs> this job, my darling? Over a thousand years. A thousand years? But now it's posh. Now I get champagne. <laughs> champagne oh. and champagne. Oh. <laughs> and but and what's happened to you? What's happened to you? We, we hear that you uh, couldn't uh, operate the washing machine where yeah, you're living. Yeah, the washing machine. See, see the my, washing machines. You my, can't use the technology my, my, like me. My, my, my wife, Mrs. Cross, you see, she usually did the washing, but we had a, we had a row. Oh, yes, yes, can I sit on your lap? Oh, yes, Dr. Please. Santa Claus. That's a good one. What's your name, little girl? Eddie. Eddie. What's your name, eh? Hey? Eddie. Yeah. Eddie? 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 Well, never mind. That's what you're going to bring me from the green bird. Oh, I like the Christmas bird. Ooh, a man? A man? A nice, a nice young man with green hands. Anyway, I, I don't know. What am I going to do with him? He's uh, yes, yes, yes. All just, over just, the place. I've just had a first drink. That's all. If it's with Christmas, it's lovely. It's a lovely time Christmas, isn't it? You all like Christmas? Christmas is for families, families and children. Families and children? Families and, and children. And us! Oh, excuse and me, what about me? And, and, well, yes, what about 99-year-old well, women? Well, yes, yes, but not, we not, like not so much. We like Christmas just as much. Do you? What do you like about Christmas? Yeah, what do I like about the Christmas? Do they have Christmas in France? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> they have Christmas everywhere. You oh, yeah. start. Don't you start Santa Claus? What do I like about yeah, the Christmas? Tell me what you like to drink. I like the whiskey, of course, the lovely whiskey. Whiskey, more yeah, whiskey, like whiskey, whiskey. whiskey and more whiskey. I think I'm going to start trying the chilies as well. Yeah, they like look the the lovely chilies, yeah. maybe. Yeah, like chilies and the whiskey, I'll be gone. I think I'll just. Uh, 
crash out for the whole of this because they can say crash out. They? Crash out. Crash oh, in, out. in 20, what year is this? 2014? No, I don't know. It's, 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 it's the Christmas. Yeah, it's well, 200 years after Waterloo. But when you're a thousand years old, when you're a thousand years old, you say, forget things. Right, but who would like to sit on the Santa's lap? Who would like to sit on the Santa's lap? Oh, oh, Santa's what about the lovely lady? Lovely lady, lovely lady. Lovely lady. Lovely lady. Lovely lovely lady. lady. Lovely lovely lady. 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 Lovely What a lovely name! A lovely Alex! Name. Alex! Alex. What, what do you like Santa to give you for Christmas? Remember, this is a family show! Family and show! To all, the, <laughs> ah, to all the young yes. people that are working... Uh, look, Lauren will kill me. kill me! She will kill me! All kill me? the young people that are watching, Where? do not drink champagne or whiskey or anything. This is not what you should be doing. Yes, 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 yes. I don't want to upset <laughs> the parents! parents. Yeah. Now, right. yeah, the other thing, Santa the Claus. Thing. So you, um, I expect you're getting these long, long lists from yeah. the children. I have had a long list. You know? I have had a list. I have had a list. Long, long. long letters. Long. Letters. letters they write letters to you now. Yes, yes. They send this, you this, these things. The emails. Little girl sent me letters. She said, "Father, Christmas. Can I have for Christmas? Can I have? Can I have?" Xbox. Xbox? Xbox, what's that? Uh, 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 it's a Do you know what that is? Thing, I think. What's that? Do you I don't know, play, play on the telly. What's that? I don't, I don't really know. What's the telly? So I said no. I said because too expensive. Too expensive? And yes. she wrote me a letter back and she said, my dad will buy it for me and you can give it to me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's sad. That was sad. Do, 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 do. I, I tell you what else I like about Christmas. No, we used to get, we used to get an orange, an orange and a little, a little, uh, what do you call it, like a hazelnut. That, that was our Christmas present. Well, here's have my yeah. spa. Well, I was father Christmas, had my spa for Christmas. You got a bar? We used to, we used to, because we were You got poor. a bar? I don't know, a Mars bar. bar. What's a Mars bar? Chocolate bar. And we were, we were so poor, we had to sit on orange boxes for Christmas. Is that how Santa Claus grew up? You're hearing a very sad story here. Very sad. Orange film full. Oh, everybody, Fair let's get sad now. Oh, oh yeah, but, Santa. Oh, yeah. no anyway, no anyway, Santa, we're going to have to invite on another guest. Mr. Oh. Mike, Mr. Mike. Hello, Edith. Yes, since I last saw so you, you were on a beard like Santa Claus. Are you doing Santa Claus this year? I'm shaving it off later. You're shaving off later? Yes. Well, why haven't you shaved off on my show? It doesn't show a lot of respect. Here, here. Mm. Here, here, everyone. What is this? You thought that you could come on my show just because you've done some acting with me? You think you can come on my show looking bedraggled and just like Santa Claus looks? What? A mess, complete mess. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yes, look at him, look at him, and the Martin as well. He also he tuck his, he tuck his shirt into his jeans like somebody else we know that I won't talk about. You know what I mean? That's not very so, fair. So, so yeah. Not very fair, eh? No? Yes, not very fair. Show, show. And this one, come on with shorts. What does he think? It's uh, August or July? Oh, we're, we're going for a swimming costume? It's, it's going for a swimming competition? Chilis, yes, chilis. chilis. You see, yeah. I still don't get it. Chili is hot, hot chili is too confusing. So, anyway, so, Mike, so, so, I, I shall forgive you. Okay, so, because so, I'm a so, very forgiving so, woman. So, Madame Pierre, why do you always laugh? Answer when me you're one question, please. Me? Answer me one question. I would try. If it wasn't for me, how would you get your emails? If it wasn't for who? For Crispian or Edward or for Mike? Edward. Edward. Edward, your personal assistant. If it wasn't for you, how would I get my emails? You what do I want it. my emails for? It's just annoying. All you get is these loads and loads of... What is it? I mean, as I say, I need letters. I need proper letters that you can hold. Emails. Ma what is the name? Madame. It just Madame. caused me a lot of stress. Oh dear, oh dear. When was you the... caused me a lot of stress with emails. Thank you, Madame. Yeah. Um, when was the last time you actually received a written letter. Oh, Marcel sends me letters all the time, don't you, my darling? Oh, really? Can I get millions? Oh, <laughs> 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 oh, 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 oh
look, I bring my rose. You left my rose behind. Do you remember, Madame Pia, the last time we checked your emails, how many unread emails you had on your iPad? Do you remember? On my what? Your iPad. I don't have an iPad. Yes, you do, Madame Pia. What are you talking about? Remember the emails from, dare I even mention the name, the P? The Public yes. Rubbish Society, don't talk to me about them. I told you, we don't talk about that anymore. Shh. Have you paid their bill? No. Has anyone paid their bill? Public mm. Rubbish Society. What's the Public Rubbish Society? The Public Rubbish Society, you'll find out when oh, the episode right. comes out. All right. <laughs> anyway, now do talking you, to do Mike. You <laughs> what they're going to do if you don't pay their bill? Yes, they're going to send me back to 1940s France. I know, I know. Don't remind me. Why you remind me? Is that what you want? Because that's what's going to happen. <laughs> this is my show, right? Yeah. Enough. I don't want to talk about it, right? I want to talk about our episodes. Now, so I want you to tell everybody about our episodes. So in our episodes, you play Edward, my butler. Edward the butler. That's right. Very, very, very patronising. He is very, very patronising. Uh, very superior. Mm. Talks down to you. He does. Um, mocks you. Mocks me. Makes silly faces at the camera. He's not very nice to me, Edward. And you also Chris play the, the, the Crispian. Crispian. Now, where's Crispian? Can we meet Crispian's Crispian? Crispian from... Um, Hello, have a horrible morning, Britain. I know, yes. Yes, yes. Uh, doesn't really understand you very well, does he really? No, no, no. I'm trying to get on this program mm. called Have a Horrible Morning, Britain. You know, it's the opposite of Good Morning, Britain. And uh, we Can have to uh, But he won't let me on. He won't let me on. <laughs> you're, it's you're, ridiculous. You're, 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 he said I'm too... <laughs> you're not trivial enough. He says I'm not trivial enough. He comes up with all these excuses that I'm not trivial enough. I you haven't got a cat that can juggle ping pong balls. Not or, yet, no. Or a dog that gets regular headaches. No. 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 You're actually quite famous, really, aren't you? I am. I'm yes. Bede Piaf, the, the yeah, most yeah, famous yeah, thing yeah, ever yeah, in the world. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Santa Claus. Yeah, as Christian, yes. what I can really suggest you do is come back when you've um, had your picture published on page three of the Sun. Maybe. <gasps> That's another episode. That's another episode. Why are you giving away all our episodes? Can I be in that one? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you want to be on page three of the Sun? If you wish, yes. If you wish. Give everybody a laugh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so how do you feel when uh, you play these characters in uh, this crazy? Stupid, it's my life, uh, PF woman when she's in 2014. You will get to see those, they'll all come out soon. Oh, uh, just so, all these silly little along. episodes. Just, just make it up as we go along. We do. Yeah. Mike and, Mike and uh, me, and PF, <laughs> Lauren uh, and PF and Mike, we all got together and we just uh, improvised some little episodes. Some of them uh, Lauren wrote. But then Mike came and he put he, he added some very extra funny bits and we hope you enjoy them. They're going to come out. Called it's my life, a PF in 2014, 2015. So Mike. Yes. Uh, maybe we should ask the audience what would be their favourite PF episode ever for 2014. It's, how could we? What would you like to see PF? be or do that is completely crazy start from the left we'll start with uh, okay. the lovely amy go on a roller coaster ride a roller coaster ride oh. 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 thank oh. you yep. <laughs> okay santa claus i think a day at the seaside in victorian times oh victorian yes times. with a bathing machine with a what? A bathing machine. <laughs> a bathing? What's a bathing machine? Well, you see, the Victorian women didn't want anybody to see any part of their body whatsoever, so they used to draw a, a caravan thing up into the sea, undress in it, and come straight out into the sea. What? That is ridiculous! Yes, that's what I mean. Yes, that's right for you. Yeah, ridiculous! <laughs> Thank you very much. What that's about Martin? Have you got any ideas for the PF Well, I sing a duet with Frank Sinatra. Then you do it with Frank Sinatra, yeah, but we're both you. dead, so I suppose that's that's quite easy to do. We're both dead anyway, you know. Well, well, Frankie, I died yeah, Frankie in the 1960s. Edith, those two of those famous iconic 20th century singers, aren't they? Yeah, good yeah, idea. Yeah. Yeah. Good yeah. idea. So, will you bring him here then, or how do we get in touch with him through Marcel? Have you got any contacts up there with the Frank Sinatra? 
Oh, What's he up to, old blue eyes? Old blue eyes. What's he doing? Well, if he can't come down, we'll have to do uh, somebody who can uh, impersonate. A seance sing-along. A yeah. seance sing-along? Ah, oh, there you go. The Mr. Oh. Barry's yeah, come up with a good idea. I've got a, I've got a Rat Pack CD we can... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> a CD? You think I perform with that nonsense? Yeah. You know, you keep forgetting who am I? Oh, who am hey, I? Hey, I am here! Hey, 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 Yeah, yeah, Madonna. Yeah, oh, I love it, dude. Yeah, you want to invite her on my show, please. You contact her. What's her real name? I have no idea. I think she, she grew up a little bit like me, but we won't go into that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, what yeah, yeah. about the lovely, beautiful Susanna here today? Oh, uh, any ideas? Thinking with Frank Sinatra, not may maybe dancing with Michael Jackson. Oh, yeah. Marcel, so yeah. did you hear this? For some reason, sure. they want yeah. me to dance with dead people. <laughs> <laughs> Madonna is very much alive. I hope she is. Um, I expect Yeah, but dead people don't claim royalties. Oh, and there's yeah. the piano. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Yeah, well, yeah. And what about yeah. this? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Jacob, are you writing down all these great ideas? Jacob doesn't want to be in front of the camera. He's very beautiful, but he doesn't like being in front of the camera. Uh, but he's making the yeah, notes. Making Everybody, Jacob! Hey, Jacob, our cameraman and our editor and uh, producer and uh, what else? <laughs> and the one who keeps uh, the Lauren. Oh, God, why I talk about her? She's coming on soon to sing. So annoying. She does a little voice with me, with my... She does a little, little voice. Goodness me. Alex, what, uh, what do you think I should do in the 24th? I think Piaf should walk the streets of High Wycombe. Which you mean? Meet normal people. Okay. And talk to I thought when you meant walk the streets, I've done all that <laughs> already in my life anyway. Woo! You mean walk the streets? I haven't street? seen you around. No, when you say walk the streets, you know what that means? To walk the streets means to be a whore, a prostitute. To, be, <laughs> to give it away, <laughs> like, I love a name, but I can't sing anymore because of the PRA. Yeah, there's a problem right. with that, there's um, a problem with that. There's no normal people in High Wycombe. There's no normal there people. No normal what does normal uh, mean? We'll, no. we'll, we'll all fit right in then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, who wants to be normal? <laughs> Everybody, who wants to be normal? <laughs> anyway, I think the mic has been wonderful listen, interviewing been you. <laughs> and uh, is there anything else you'd like to say as mic? <laughs> <laughs> I've got some ideas I'm working on, but I'm going to keep my powder dry. Anyway, thank, thank you, you very you. much, Mike. Lovely to it's see you. It's a pleasure to have you here. Woo! <laughs> yeah, bye bye. <laughs> mwah, mwah, mwah. Mwah. Okay. I, think, I, think, I think we should have a practice boo. Shall we have a practice boo? Are you ready? One, two, three. Boo! <laughs> yes, I like it. Okay, yeah, yeah. right. We have another uh, guest that I want to bring on today. Uh, and then uh, we'll invite her on. We'll have a little break quickly and then we'll go and get Lauren. Do I have to invite her on? Jacob, really? What is the point of bringing her on to the show? Eh? All she wants to do is a little... She has this soprano, boring little voice. and she. Uh, what do I want to have her anywhere near me? You know when I interviewed her? You haven't seen that yet in the show. We, I interview her. She sit there the whole time. No respect. She left and left and left at me. I said to her, why she never pay me? Ask her these questions and she left. Very disrespectful, isn't she? Absolutely. Boo! Now I'm bad, now I'm bad. Boo! It's like a pantomime now. God, I hate pantomimes. Does anybody like pantomimes? Yes, yes. You yes. like pantomimes? Yes, I write pantomimes. I'm dancing. Oh, I love pantomimes. pantomimes. I love yeah. your pantomimes. Oh, no, he doesn't. Oh, oh, yes, he does. Oh, behind you. Oh, no, he doesn't. Oh, yes, no, he doesn't. Oh, yes, I do. Oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, oh, oh come oh, on. Yes, you can do better than that. Behind you. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's behind you. Yes, yes. You think I can get Chen Ritchie on my show? Yes. Shen Ritchie performed at uh, Wickham Swan for twice. I went to see him yes, last year. Oh my god. Lauren forced me to sit in the audience. I don't like the pantomime. It's too much for me. Too much. It's a bit too over the top. It's, a, it's an English tradition. You see, I think so. 
But do you think I can get him to come onto my show and talk about why he likes to come back every year? So high we come. That would be fun, wouldn't it? He's a local Shane boy, isn't he? He's a local boy. So, Jacob, you're going to invite the Shane Ritchie on the show next, yes? Yeah. Hopefully, that'll put our viewers up a bit. Yeah, I'm sure with your personality, you can get him on the show. Can't I'm you? sure. Yeah. I'm yeah. sure at some point, maybe in another couple of years. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to invite uh, our last guest on now. Why are you standing up? You're maybe in the place. Look very oh, yeah. ID. <laughs> sit, 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 sit. If you can't oh, sit, then, then I don't know. Then maybe you need to go. Someone is going. I think uh, Barry is going. Can you I just am. wait uh, one second? We're going to have a break and then I just a quick quick word with you before you go. Is that alright, Barry? Right. I'm going to invite on the lovely Emmy. Everybody, Emmy. 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 My goodness, what do you oh, think that is, Amy? Rocks. Uh, rock. yeah, rocks. And she's got this peace symbol out. I say wish. I like that one. Wisdom. Yes. Wisdom. Wisdom. Yeah. I like that one. Wisdom. You like that one? You I like, like that, that one. wisdom one? That's a good one. I like And this one is love because love, love conquers all. Love. You know, without love, there is nothing. Exactly. Nothing. Exactly. So, exactly. what do you love about life, then, Amy? What about life? I like. I love doing things like drama and performing and... Oh, so you love doing the crazy things that I, I do. I do. I love doing crazy things. Crazy things are fun. Like what, what things. Are you, who is your favourite artist then? Your favourite singer? My favourite singer? Oh my goodness. I have got... Do you, I don't really have a favourite. I like sort of lots of little really random people. Um, yeah, sort of quite random ones. You don't have a favourite singer? Oh, it's you. It is obviously <laughs> you. Well, yes, I'm Sorry. so excited. <laughs> My show, and she <laughs> said, I'm not a favorite singer. What is this all about? I'm sorry, you are. I'm sorry. Oh, yes, oh. I should sing so. Oh, if you can go. Shame on you, Amy. Shame yeah. on you, Amy. Shame oh, on you. Oh, Amy. Hey, okay. <laughs> so, why should I keep you on my show now? Because I'm wonderful company. You're wonderful Ooh, company, yeah. so you have a, a big ego like <laughs> me. <laughs> on occasion, on occasion. So, anyway. <laughs> I know that you were talking to the Jacob and the Lauren, I, I think it was the Lauren, or maybe it was someone else because she's invisible at the time, I don't know who, who it was up there with her, but I know that the Jacob was up there. You were talking about um, your, um, oh excuse me, the whiskey is getting to me, I need another one. Do you drink? No, no, no. No, you don't no, like the whiskey? No, no. I, know the I do. I like the whiskey. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll have yours. Twice the amount. Of course, it's yeah. okay. You can have mine. Thank you. It's my gift to you. Rather than mince pie. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> thank you. okay. <laughs> Enough now. He's taking over. Right. So you were talking. You were having this very, very interesting. I was listening. I was listening. It sounded very interesting because uh, I love children. We all love children. Yeah. We all love children, especially at Christmas. Christmas is a wonderful time when the Santa Claus brings the gifts for the children. And we want to make things exciting for them. And one of the things is, do you know what? They don't know where the Piaf is. They do not know who I am. No. Can you believe that? No, you ask the children. No. And I think what you're trying to do is, I'm history, obviously, because I was born and I died. Yeah. So <laughs> you you want to teach them yeah. something yeah. about the history, I so do. maybe the history or maybe of the France and Edith Piaf. I was an extraordinary yeah. woman, don't you know that? I, I mean, know that. Yeah. You know that Santa Claus because you were there with me, <laughs> and you were probably all there in a the previous life. I don't know. 1941. Yeah. 1941. <laughs> when we when I went uh, mad to the Nazis, yeah. everybody thought I was liking and singing. I went. Nailed yeah, to the Nazis! And I saved my accordion, he's a Jewish man, I saved his life. You do. Mm. Lots of things they don't know, all they know is I'm an adulteress. The English, they don't know. I'm mean, sorry, I'm taking over. No, no, it's fine. It's I'm fine, really fine. sorry, I don't it's know fine. what happens, I can't stop talking, I just keep going, going. It's mouth. I'm good talking, you're interesting, keep going. You think I'm interesting? Yeah, oh, that's nice. Going. I like you. I like you. You're a good guest to have. So anyway, you were going to tell us that you have this idea of, mm. of uh, I was going to say, to do with the history. So you yeah. were going to find... So how could you teach the children about Piaf and about France in a really 
interesting way because we were talking way. about chocolate and obviously mm. you can't talk oh, to goodness, them about yes. whiskey. <laughs> well, that would not, not a good idea. parents would not be very <laughs> no, happy. Yeah, so what me. would you choose? Because you were talking about new angles mm. of how to teach the children about, uh, as I say, about different histories. So what would you yeah. do? What, about you? About, about me you? and about France and the French Revolution. I mean, wasn't that a good time? <laughs> oh, French oh, Revolution. Oh, 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 yeah. Yes, yeah. the French Two Revolution. Swords. Heads Madden above Two everything swords. else. Madame Tussauds. I'll explain Madden why. Madame Tussauds. There's yeah. a me there. Is there you know? Nothing no, like really. me. <laughs> nothing at all. Nothing. Do you know that I'm four foot four? Are you really? Yes. You look a lot taller. Well, I'm not really here. You see, can you here. see me? Mm -hmm. You can see me. You see, it's very confusing because I'm not really here. I'm dead. <laughs> but I'm really, since I come back, I seem to have grown. Okay. People say I'm growing. Stretching. Stretching. It must stretching. be all, all the food and yeah. uh, everything they're putting in the food now. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, coming back to what we were saying, <laughs> what were we saying? <laughs> People get locked up because <laughs> of this head that I have. I'm sitting here and doing my own show. They call it some kind of complex knee disorder. I think that Lauren's got it. I think she definitely has. Mm. Coming back to what you were saying. So how would you teach them uh, something exciting? I'll try to be quiet. Shall I be quiet for a few seconds? <laughs> no, and this is good. The conversation is good. Like Mantu Swords. Yeah. Well, take them around Mantu Swords and then explain that she was during the French Revolution. She went and she put all their chopped off heads in wax. I know yeah. a few heads I'd like to chop off. She's coming down soon. <laughs> why, why is Madame Two Swords oh, in England then? Sorry? Why is it in England? Why is it in England? Do you know what? Why I is it not in France? Oh, oh. Yeah. They cut all the heads yeah, off. Yeah, I will admit, point. I will she, research that. I don't actually know. She probably French. escaped the French Revolution. She was French Revolution. Yeah. Yeah. Of course she was. I, I, you know what? I didn't go to school. Know, you know, you know my life story. It was a very happy life story. I was on the streets a lot of the time. But anyway, uh, we're going to end there and have a little break so everyone can... Uh, I will give you back your nice rocks. Thank you very Thank much. You it's been a pleasure Thank having you. you on my show. Have a big warm He thinks he's a leader, but he's not a leader. Yeah. He says, yes. what are you drinking? I don't know anymore. Oh, did you? Mm. I think it's whiskey. I think the Martin said it was it's some kind of smoky. It is ad, it is ad, Pete, or ad, more. Yes, Pete. It's Pete. Pete. It's Pete. It's, it's the the peaty Pete. whiskey. It's because the water, the water is filtered through the peat. I still don't Not Peter Man, what that wouldn't be nice, would it? No. Alright, let's have another. Yay! Yay! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas yes, yes, oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, The children, you mustn't do this. I tell all the parents, this, you mustn't drink the whiskey no. and you mustn't drink the wine or anything. You no. mustn't do like the PR for no, Santa Claus. You just leave the wine out for the Santa Claus. It's not uh, Santa Claus. It's not. Uh, it wouldn't be Christmas. You just leave the wine out like for the Santa Claus. Yeah, yeah. you mustn't drink the Santa Claus. It's a uh, very, I don't know. It's a very disorganized Santa Claus. A bit, uh, I don't know. I no presents for you. Uh, I think it's because we didn't have the money again. It's no all problem. to do with Lauren, you see. She couldn't even be bothered to oh, pay for a real Santa Claus. So yes. we get this. Are you saying I'm not a real Santa Claus? Sorry? Are you saying you I'm say... not a real Santa Claus? No, I don't think you are really. Is he the real Santa Claus? I am, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Yeah. 
Oh, yeah. you see? No presents for you, little oh. girl. Well, maybe the real Santa Claus doesn't cost any money. Because that's the spirit of Christmas! Yes! Isn't yes, it? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Right, yes. what's your spirit of Christmas apart from the sh champagne that you're whiskey. drinking? It's whiskey. It's whiskey. I like, I like. The whiskey is a funny whiskey white whiskey color too. whiskey. No, this is, this is, you see, you see. When I was first Santa Claus, hundred years ago, people used to leave me talk whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> people used to leave me whiskey. But now, but now, of course, because it's very affluent around here. What, 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 what does the they Martin me, say about this? It looks like water. You see, champagne nowadays. Oh, I see, I it's see. Champagne. They leave you champagne. They leave me champagne. So Santa Claus is I'm getting drunk or something. Santa that's from the east of England, actually. I didn't know Santa's from the, the east, east coast. I thought he was from Lapland. Yes, he did. Well, that is but east of England. What's Lapland? East of England. Lapland is east of England. So yes. Lapland 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 they don't speak the Lapland language. I can speak all languages. What are the languages? You see, because come down the chimney. I'm down to have to speak all languages in case of bump into parents. But you see, the trouble is, you see, and this years ago there were lots of chimneys to come down. Yeah, but now they would now do. But have to come down the radiator. <laughs> you have to look a bit of weight. You have to, down have to become radiator. invisible yeah. like me. As a magic. Magic. Yeah. That's why I brought you on in the first place, because <laughs> I wanted you to magic. do the magic, didn't I? Magic. I can't remember now. Why did I bring you in? Yeah. First place. You I wanted to do something yeah. magical. You want to but I can't remember now. Mm. You, want, you just want to turn Anyway, to talking about the magic, uh, I don't know where the connection here is to the next guest at all. Maybe we can think about. I want to bring on uh, someone who creates magic with people's heads and people's minds. Maybe oh. that's why I connect the magic. No, 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 nothing like Rasputin. that. Rasputin. No, never no. knew Lord Rasputin. No, no. Darren no. Brown. Uh, no, Darren, Darren no, Brown. no, no, it's uh, <laughs> someone very pre prettier than that. It's yes. much prettier. But no, I think she causes, she creates a magic in your life. That's it. No, she no. takes your life and she makes it into magic where your dreams start to come to the truth. I fit, think. Is she pretty as you? As pretty as me? Yeah, well, of course pretty. not. Oh You're Santa, how could yes. you say such a thing? I'm beautiful. You are. I'm beautiful. You I love are. your hat. Yeah. Hey, look at Santa. I so my sweet. Yeah. With your smile. I yeah. can't see your smile though. Yeah. Hey, oh no, Santa! <laughs> Santa. <laughs> Oh, oh Santa! Santa. <laughs> <laughs> you put it back quickly. Oh, you put it back on. I don't know. The mic came in with a new beard because I didn't recognize him because he was so disabled. And I shouldn't talk about uh, those that have left. You know, you don't talk the bad of those that go, uh, so to speak. But he he suddenly has the beard and and, and he was all this year and you come in with without a beard. What's going on? Should be the opposite. That's magic, see. I can have a beard and have not have a beard. Yeah. Magic. Anyway, we're not going anywhere with this discussion, really. I You're think it's time right. to bring on some guests. I agree. Yes. So yes. let us bring on the beautiful Alex. Yes. Hey, Alex. Hey, take a seat. Take a seat. Look who her name is. Hop. Oh, not again. Why do I have to think about that woman? Anyway, apart from that, it is a very important world, this hope, yes? A very important world. Is there something going on that I don't know about here in my studio? No. No, everything all right? No, nothing at all. You were whispering. No, we were not. You were saying something mm. about this? Oh, no. Nothing mm. at all. Boo! Aha! Oh. What's, 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 what? Anyway. Coming back to what we were saying, I hope this isn't boring you to death, because as soon as I mention this name, I, you know, everybody goes, oh my god. She doesn't have my energy, you know. Anyway, uh, this is uh, an angel, and she brings hope to people, just to connect, because I'm trying to not be too crazy. I'm trying to connect my conversations a little bit, but this head of mine, it just goes, and as soon as, as soon as Piaf, the most famous singer, yes I know, yes, I know, yes, I know, please. I know, you don't have to say it every time, you understand? Sorry, sorry about that. Anyway, it's nice yeah, to have you here, let's, uh, yeah. you say something for let's me. Let's talk about Christmas. So you want to talk about Christmas yes. and magic? Um, what I wanted to say about Christmas is that um, it's a magical time, but there are a lot of pressures uh, coming on us, you know, there are lots of adverts on TV, lots of things we can buy, and there is pressure on us, pressure mm -hmm. and pressure. And uh, I just want to say that 
We should just relax and enjoy our time with the family. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Very good. Yeah, very, very good. Yeah, yeah. Well, very now, uh, what do you do? You have a bottle of whiskey that help you relax. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then what you do? Uh, you just uh, jump in the pool and you start swimming without any clothes on because you're so drunk. I mean, that's how I relax. That's how I used to relax. I mean, yeah. Is that what you mean? Well, we, you have family, haven't you? No. No. Why you have to stay with me? <laughs> yes. But now you came back to life. You have your family. You don't have any family. No. So what do you do at Christmas? But I'm dead. You don't understand. I'm, I don't know what I do at Christmas. How can I know when I'm not even here? The French don't celebrate Christmas, do they? No. Why should I know? Ask Pia. Ask the real one. Marcel! Do you, can you get rid of this Martin? He's annoying me. Thank you. Do they know He's it's Christmas? Here. Anyway, <laughs> no, no, no. Um, no, you have to be very careful with my fast. feelings. Yeah. Excuse me, quiet everyone. Oh. I'm not happy. Mm. I'm not happy now. Mm. You booing me? <laughs> How dare you boo me? You have to be very careful with my feelings. You know, if you come and see the show Love Conquers All, you see, my life was very, very sad. So we don't talk about family. We try to, we try to, you know. So to me, Christmas is, um, to me, Christmas is just, uh, I don't know anymore. So, but I'm asking you, what is Christmas for you? Well, for me, um, it is time with the family. You have a big family? Uh, well, just my husband and my children. Mm -hmm. Um, so, um, yeah, it's not about buying lots of things, paying, spending lots of money, you know, maybe somebody doesn't have money and they spend lots of money. Yeah, Lauren, she talks like you. I'm, bo I'm sorry, but this is really boring. Lauren talks like this all the time. You have to spend money for Christmas and lots of whiskey. Yes? Whiskey, yes. Lots of whiskey. Yeah, they yeah, try yeah, to cross yeah, the yeah, 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 I am speaking to you in Hebrew. Yeah. I don't know what's happened. Oh, but, I started yeah. saying hine, which is a, is, a, is a Hebrew word. I, I, I don't know the whiskey. But yes, Lauren, she, 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 you should be talking to her, actually, not me. Because I don't feel that way. To me, Christmas, you have to go out and just excess. Everything excess all the time. That's hey, the way my life was. But as I say, Lauren, she feels the same way as you. And I suppose that, you but know, I'll talk to her. I, will, I think you need but to. But I admire you as well. Mm -hmm. When I was learning French, I was learning lots of your songs. So, yes. You can sing? Uh, you think you can sing like me? No. Not no, like you. Think no, 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 no. Uh, if you want me, to I love your uh, experience Christmas, you have to go to Israel, I would have thought. The Israel. Yeah. Now, the Israel is a good place for me. They have loads of French people and they like me there. They like the Piaf. They don't think I'm an adulteress and all this. Yes, Israel is a good place. So you grew up in Israel like Lauren. Very interesting, very interesting. And uh, when did you start doing your, your magic dream business that you do? Uh, well, I started uh, in Israel actually and uh, uh, learned it over the years. Okay, yeah. very, inter very interesting. Yeah. So you have plans for your Christmas? Do you, because uh, you're Jewish? Uh, no, no. Oh, uh, but some you of my family, Israel. some of my family are Jewish, but uh, I'm not Jewish as such. Oh, so I see. My grandfather. So, oh, uh, I but see. some of my other family, they were Russian Christians. Uh, okay. They were priests in the Orthodox I see. Church. Very interesting. Yeah. But for example, in Russia, Christmas is celebrated on the 7th of January, so it's a different time. 7th of January? Is that really? the Gregorian calendar? It's yeah. at the same in yeah. Poland, because we have the, 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 the lovely yeah. Susanna. Yeah. Yeah. Is the same in Poland? No, we have right here. Yeah. Why is it's Russia the Catholic, different? Catholic, because uh, in Russia yeah. there was a revolution, and uh, the, the whole world, they changed their calendars, and then they moved the Christmas to yeah, the Something trend. for your history yeah, lesson? Oh, exactly. Yeah. But in uh, France, they had the so big like revolution. Yeah, they had the revolution. Yeah, they left. Yeah, yeah, oh, that's so you do Christmas here, so you and then Russia. you go to, to Russia, you go to Russia, Russia and you have there. Christmas again. Yeah. 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 I think that's a great idea. More, more, more. Well, I can see. Yeah, yeah. Hey, so 
But it was, you'd be very good. It was a long labor for Canada, isn't it? No, but I should say that the difference is Santa Claus comes to Russia at the New Year's Eve. So the New Year's Eve is all the Santa Claus and all the non-religious things. I and knew that. I knew that. Yeah. So I've always been you know New Year's Eve to, in Russia. You go to, yeah. so you go to I get vodka you know. in Russia. And yeah. Yeah. Exactly, vodka. you must be very happy. Very, very, very happy. Because so you go there so for New Year's Eve. So you, you, when do you, you rest the rest of the year, do you go to sleep? Sleep? Certainly <laughs> not. What do you do, Santa Claus? Certainly not. We make all the toys, my, myself and my elves. You're making We your, make all the toys the toy. for the little children. That, isn't that nice? All year. That's no rest really for poor Santa. No rest no for rest. poor Santa. Two so Christmases. Ah, see. On the 24th of December, I usually go to my husband's family and they always say, Oh, Santa is over Russia now, giving presents. And I'm saying, No, he's not over Russia because he comes to Russia on the 31st of December. Well, well there no, you no, go, no. you're a very, very, yeah. so you fly very on busy. your sleigh. On my sleigh, yes. With, with Rudolf. With Rudolf and we others, with Fritz tired. and Madonna and uh, all of my reindeer. Yeah, they're lovely them. creatures. You'll be able to say you know Santa now, you see. You know, you, uh, you may have yeah. a problem if you wanted to stay in the England and rent a house with all those reindeers. I don't think many landlords would take reindeers, do you? They have a problem with cats these days. You know, you have lots of reindeers. Uh, so I don't think it's a good idea that Santa would come Rudolph. there. Yeah, 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 Rudolph. Yeah, but he has a lot. How many have you got? I've got seven. Seven? So yes. you say you're, you're filling in, if you want to come and live in England and rent somewhere, you're filling in the application to the landlord. Do you mind if I move in with my seven reindeers? No, because I am magic, you I see. Think that Nobody can see my reindeers except me. No you one can see your ending. So me. you're like me, basically. No, I'm invisible. That is correct. Anyway, I'm we're not getting anywhere Santa. with this. So I think we will end the conversation. But it's been very, very interesting. Yes. To find out all that information. So everybody, Go thank you very much. Okay. Now, if the Susanna will come up no. for five minutes. No? no? She won't she come won't. up for the five minutes. Uh, okay, well, I'll just stay very quickly. Um, that our next guest, unfortunately, I have to invite her on. What can I do? She's the boss. Uh, she hasn't had an opportunity to perform on TV, so she said she has to sing in this show. So I thought, well, what choice have I got? She may suck me, eh? So I don't think I have much choice. So we have to be very, very, very nice when she comes on. But uh, what I did want to say, and um, I connected to Susanna here, was um, uh, Susanna was actually very clever. She she was the one who told Lauren. She'll tell you when she come on. She was very clever. One day uh, we went somewhere. I can't remember where. We not we me not me her. <laughs> Sorry, confusing. Uh, Lauren and Susanna they went somewhere, and uh, Lauren was thinking of all these ideas of how to get on the media. And she was thinking, you know, and Susanna said the, this person in uh, 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 Poland had started a studio in his bedroom. And I thought, yeah, interesting, but I don't think I'll do it. But there you go. Sometimes things happen, you know, and, and the idea came from Susanna. This song is, I don't know if anybody knows the uh, instrument of peace, St. Francis of Assisi. Um, it's usually God make me an instrument of your peace. But because I have one thing in common with Pia, I do think that love conquers all. As she does say all the time, that's the only thing I have in common with her. Um, I'm going to sing the song, and I've changed the, uh, the word God to the word love. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs>
with every sadness joy for every girl and boy love made me an instrument of your peace to express the parts of me that can't be reached in any other way because they're not really safe to be reached you know in life um, she's 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 an immensely courageous woman and uh, the reason I decided to work with the character Piaf uh, as she is is because uh, if you do know or not it all started with a wonderful show by Roger Peace called Love Conquers All and I hope Roger I hope you're watching this because you gave me my life. <laughs> you gave me my life and my hope, Lauren Hope. And a wonderful, wonderful show that I'm very grateful for. And of course, was is about the life story of Edith Piaf. So if you haven't seen it, go and see it. It's coming to Hampstead uh, next year, uh, from the, the uh, 20th of January to the 2nd of February. It will be on in Hampstead and Pentameters. And as I say, very, very lucky for this to have happened to me. 
And there are things I love about Piaf. I don't like her, but the Piaf, the real Edith Piaf, to me, just an incredible woman with so much courage and so much passion. One of the things that really touched me about her was um, that uh, when her lover Marcel was killed in, a, in, a, in an airplane crash, she went on that night to perform. She went on to perform. So she's a very good mentor to me, as, as I am. You know, she shows me that whatever happens, you must go on. Does that answer your question? I mean, uh, I'm trying to stay focused because she doesn't, she can't stay focused. She's all over the place. And as I say, she manifests this condition, this mental health condition called borderline personality disorder. As all my friends know, I was in treatment for two years, as Lauren, <laughs> for two years because I had um, a very, very difficult time with it. And thanks to all of this and performing on the stage now, it's very, very controllable. So, so what's more important, the, the fame, the fact that you can uh, perform as a famous personality, or is it just the sheer joy of performing in front of people? Ah, uh, I love I love performing Piaf. Um, I've done a lot of performing, uh, but this is different. I mean, to me, when I get to grips with her life and the pain she went through, you know, she lost her child, she lost her, her, her lover. And the mental, the mental breakdowns, and the songs, the songs, I've never sung such beautiful songs. If it answers your question, I, I think it's probably a combination of playing Piaf and connecting to an audience that love her as well. And uh, yeah, it, it's, it's an incredible experience. I've never felt like this on the stage, like I do. I've done a lot of work on the stage. I think the only other part I feel um, was in anywhere close to this was Elvira the Ghost, when I played Elvira and Light Spirit, because there was something very supernatural about her, and very, very earthy and sexy, and had a great chemistry with the actors, we know Rohan, Noseworthy, who played, Char uh, played um, Charles, was it Charles in Light Spirit? I think with Piaf, it's similar because she can take risks all the time, a bit like Elvira could, and there's a lot of sex, there's a lot of earthiness. She's a very, very sexy creature, Edith Piaf. She's very grounded to the earth, She's very sexy, very earthy, and very connected to people. And I think, you know, a lot of that, is, to me, is supernatural. So does that answer your question? <laughs> Mm. Could, could, I, could I ask you a question? Yes, please, um, Lauren, Archie. Please, could you could you please, Lauren, tell us a little bit a little bit about your actual relationship with this woman? Uh, how do you feel about her? And perhaps more importantly, how does she feel about you? Do you think? Do I ask you? I would, I would, be, I would yeah. be pleased if you um, would. I think in order to do that, I'm I'm going to have to hold my peace heart. <laughs> she really, oh God, that woman. She's so rude. She's just very, very rude. She, she was born, caught with the same name as, as that beautiful Edith Bia. She was born with the same name, Edith Gustion. She was born in the same place. And she just has taken on the whole persona of Edith Bia. But to me, she does have some bits of her. She had the 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 uh, courage and and she's not afraid to say what she feels and people like her she's funny and she's fun but i but she's she's just she doesn't have any respect for anyone she makes she turns my body into this whiskey you know she she expects my body to drink whiskey and all these things that are bad for me she doesn't have any respect for me and um I find her very, very difficult to work with. If I had my way, I'd sack her and take on a different actor. Maybe Amy, I don't know. And he seems very <laughs> sweet and gentle. You know, maybe work with her, as you know. But I have to, I don't know. People seem to really like her. and um, But she's very, very difficult to work with. She's very opinionated. She's, she's got a massive ego. And she's always complaining about me. She, she, even if I tried to get to be nice to her and work with her, she just keeps insulting me. She insults my voice because to her I'm just a little, you know, soprano. 
and she's got this, yeah, I, I respect the fact she's got this really belty, strong voice. I'd do anything to be able to sing like that, you know? So, uh, yeah. So why That's do you think she question. wants to work with you? Why does she want to work with me? Probably because she's going to get with nobody else to work with her. <laughs> I don't think anybody else would work with her, quite honestly. I think they'd sack her very quickly. Um, probably because, um, I don't know, maybe she's just... Um, I don't know, maybe someone should ask her really why she wants to work with me. But the, the funny thing happens that when we actually get on the stage together, all of this disappears and we become one person and it just works. And it's an, it's, it's an incredible journey for me because I'm suddenly a bit like a, uh, it's a bit like a medium because she kind of takes over and I go with it. And there's some parts of it that are so incredible and the audience love it. You know, all, all of her, her nature and her character and the way Piaf would have been, used to be, the real Piaf, seems to come out. It comes out. But when she does her talk shows, she just goes totally over the top. I worry about the guests sometimes. I, I don't know, sometimes they, I think they're, going, they're not going to come back or we're going to create a lot of unhappiness in the community. But um, any other questions? I'm trying to stay calm. Every time I think about her, it's like, oh god, have I made the right decision? Do you think I? I mean, what do you think about her? Do you like her, watching her? I mean, does she make you laugh? Is she funny? Yeah, crazy. I she's think just she crazy. is. I, I think she's wonderful. I think she's you got think a she's fantastic really voice. I, you could perhaps describe your relationship as a, a, a love-hate relationship. Would that be true? Uh, a lot of hate and very little love. But um, you know, I believe in love. And I believe she's a very sad character. She's sad. She's had a very difficult life. And I don't want to take up too much of this show because uh, it's really a Christmas show. So um, I think we're going to need to, to end, unless anybody else has got any questions about um, how it is to run Moving on TV. Uh, because that's something I would just like to very quickly say, how excited I am to be running Moving on TV. And bringing on extraordinary people. You're all very extraordinary. You're all very, very talented. And uh, we've uh, Jacob and myself have been running Living on TV for only a few weeks, and we're very excited about what how it's turning out. And I can't wait for you to start watching. We're going to go live in the next few days, and you'll be able to watch the links. You'll be able to watch um, the happy news. And I think uh, someone uh, probably mentioned that in the break. But yeah, the happy news and the watchdog where we're looking for people um, who've got issues, not issues, <laughs> people who've got issues, I've got her, she's got <laughs> enough issues. I mean, issues with life, you know, the community, uh, that need help. Please come to us, contact us. Shall I give um, the details again, Jacob, or do I need to give the details? Uh, okay, you can contact me at, um, you can contact me, Lauren at uh, Moving On TV, that's Twitter, you can tweet me at Moving On TV, you can Facebook me by liking Moving On TV, you can email me at Lauren, L-A-U-R-E-N, at movingontheatre.co.uk, and you can phone us on 07437 532 798, and um, yeah, and you can go on movingontheatre.co.uk and check out all the wonderful things that are happening with Moving On Theatre. And I'm looking forward to all the wonderful stuff we're all going to be doing together. And send all your friends uh, and send charities and community groups that need to be expressed. Because by this time next year, we'll need a hall to bring in all the guests. Can you imagine? It would be huge. And I'm inviting you back, please God, next year. Archie to be our Santa because you deserve a really big hand of applause. Thank you. So, thank you, everyone. So just to say to everyone... I want to wish you a wonderful Christmas to all your families, everyone who's watching us. I can't tell you how happy I am to be running a TV station and to be providing everyone with a platform. And as I said to you, if you watch my community message, my, my Queen's speech, <laughs> um, I want you to come here and express your talents. Don't ever think that you're on your own. Don't ever think you're on your own. If you've got the talents or you've got the dream or you whatever, you just email me or contact me. As I said, I gave you the, the, the contacts. You're never alone now because I don't want the, to think that there's another Lauren a few years ago. 
that had to go through what she went through in order to get to this. So I'm really looking forward to hearing from lots of wonderful, wonderful people out there. And as I say, this time next year, the party will be, well, <laughs> it will be massive. We'll have so many people that are involved. So thank you very much. As I say, a wonderful Christmas and a happy new year. Let's just do a quick care. Who all acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind? Should all acquaintance be forgot for the sake of all?